The other night, I had a crazy dream. In the dream, I was caught right in the middle of a large-scale alien battle. It was filled with explosions and laser beams, debris, and even large starships. It was very similar in style to the final battle in Avengers Endgame. As the battle raged on and I finally woke up, I instantly had some questions. How did my brain render all of that? How can the human mind seemingly render a full CGI battle in real time? High-end computers can't even do that. Right? These questions got me thinking about the actual specs of the human mind and how it holds up to modern tech. Hi, and welcome to Game Aesthetics. Today, I have a very interesting topic to explore, comparing the most complex organ in the known universe, the human brain, to NVIDIA's flagship graphics card, the RTX 4090. This will not be a straightforward apples to apples comparison though, as there is no way yet to truly measure the brain's power. But I will do my best to compare their specs, capabilities, and discuss some thought provoking insights. Starting off, let's compare the processing speeds between the two. The human brain processes sensory information incredibly fast, about 5 to 10 operations per second. For example, imagine seeing a baseball flying straight at you at 80 miles per hour. Your eyes quickly send a signal to the brain, enabling you to react to the ball in as little as 100 milliseconds. This sensory processing occurs in the visual cortex. More complex tasks though, such as solving a puzzle or making a tough decision, might take seconds or even minutes for your brain to process. This is due to the brain using multiple areas at the same time to find a solution. Kind of similar to running a stress test on all parts of a GPU. The RTX 4090, on the other hand, can make an astonishing 2,235 million calculations per second, which would automatically make it the winner, right? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. The 4090 doesn't have to deal with all the behind the scenes working the brain does, like the five human senses, vision, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. It only has to worry about its specific task at hand, whether it's AI generation or rendering cyberpunk in 8K. A different processing comparison is to look at both of their bit rates. A bit rate is the amount of data that can be processed per second. The unconscious mind can process 11 million bits of information every second, but our conscious minds are much slower and can only handle about 40 or 50 bits of information per second. Most of the information your brain is processing, you aren't even aware of, like breathing. Bet you weren't even thinking about breathing. Now you are. The 4090 can process 384 bits of information per second, which is a lot more than the conscious mind. Having this speed allows more data to travel between the GPU and its memory, kind of like a widened freeway with no traffic. This is partially what makes it so powerful for applications like editing and gaming at 6,000 frames per second, but it lacks the freedom of processing that the brain has. They are both champions of processing, but they work in very different ways. So what about power consumption? The brain runs at about 20 watts of power on average, which is similar to a dim light bulb, and the 4090 runs at a base wattage of 450, which is similar to an average size refrigerator. But on rare occasions, when the card is under heavy load, that wattage can spike all the way to 1000, similar to a vacuum cleaner. The brain is the clear winner here, and it's pretty crazy to think just how little power it uses on average with how much stuff we put it through every day. So back to my crazy dream. How does your brain render imagery versus a 4090? How can it seemingly do it in real time? Dreams mostly happen during REM sleep, but they are not rendered in the same way that computer graphics are generated. Catching a pattern here? Instead, dreams are a product of the brain's complex neural activity during sleep. When you dream, your brain processes memories, thoughts, and emotions and mixes them all together to create something called a dream story. This dream story acts kind of like a crazy director that mashes all the information together to render the dream that you see while you're sleeping. I'm gonna be honest, while researching for this topic, I found myself with way more questions than answers. What is the frame rate of dreams? Can you experience lag? Are the physics real? Did I find the answers I was looking for? Not really. Dream testing results are all over the place, and because dreams are rendered in the subconscious, it's almost impossible to draw any kind of data from them. Making this video, I have learned that comparing the human brain to a graphics card is an extremely tricky subject, as most of the information on the brain is hypothetical, but it does reveal a fascinating contrast and reoccurring theme. The human brain is complex, adaptable, emotional, and creative. It is free to handle and process information without boundaries, and the 4090 is a man-made powerhouse of precision and mathematics. It is amazing at handling tasks it was designed for, but it is following guidelines, and it lacks the profound cognitive and emotional depth of the human mind. So who wins? I would have to give it to the brain, at least for now. If you stuck around to the end of the video, I truly appreciate it, and thank you for watching Game Aesthetics.